Tis not in mortals to command success, but we'll do more, Sempronius, we'll deserve it. But the spirit of romance and Christendom, the spirit which is in every lover, the spirit which has bestridden the earth with European adventure, is quite opposite. Tis not in mortals to deserve success, but we'll do more, Sempronius, we'll obtain it. And this gay humility, this holding of ourselves lightly and yet ready for an infinity of unmerited triumphs, this secret is so simple that everyone has supposed that it must be something quite sinister and mysterious. Humility is so practical a virtue that men think it must be a vice. Humility is so successful that it is mistaken for pride. It is mistaken for it all the more easily because it generally goes with a certain simple love of splendour, which amounts to vanity. Humility will always, by preference, go clad in scarlet and gold. Pride is that which refuses to let gold and scarlet impress it or please it too much. In a word, the failure of this virtue actually lies in its success. It is too successful as an investment to be believed in as a virtue. Humility is not merely too good for this world, it is too practical for this world. I had almost said it is too worldly for this world.